Eugene Monroe is an offensive tackle for the Baltimore Ravens, and he wrote an article essentially blowing the whistle on the NFL for their failure on the issue of medical marijuana. So he says, Before kickoff on game day, in NFL locker rooms all over the country, players wait in line to drop their pants. We call it the T-train. The T-train is nothing more than a bunch of really large guys waiting to pull their pants down to get shot in the butt with Toradol, a powerful painkiller that will help them make it through the game and its aftermath. So he goes on to explain how he's gotten injured in games and he literally didn't feel it because of this stuff. Uh, he tore his shoulder at one time and he didn't, he just kept playing and the next day he's like, oh shit, this hurts. Or two days later when this stuff wore off, uh, he's gotten a concussion before and he needed people to look at him and make the determination because he was just rattled and he's ready to keep going because of this shit. So, it's a super, super powerful painkiller. It's actually not an opiate, but it is a powerful anti-inflammatory and a painkiller. And he says that it's just super commonplace to use it. Uh, and uh, the obviously, the even bigger problem, one could argue, is the opiate issue that they're dealing with in the NFL. Because so many of the players have to take them in order to dull the pain, in order to get out there to play the next week. So you set up this system where it's, you know, going from painkiller to painkiller to painkiller just to keep yourself together in order to keep playing. That's rough, man. That's rough. And obviously, uh, opiates do have an addictive quality about them. Uh, and some people do get addicted, and then you can have big issues as a result of that. So he goes on to, to call on the NFL to, quote, remove marijuana from the banned substances list, fund medical marijuana research, especially as it relates to CTE, and stop overprescribing ad addictive and harmful opioids. And there's already evidence that um, marijuana is neuroprotective, so that's good for all the brain trauma that these guys get. And also, it's it's for many people just as effective as effective as opiates when it comes to pain relief. So you have this drug which is not nearly as addictive. Uh, the opiates, of course, are physically addictive. If marijuana is addictive at all, it's psychologically addictive, which is less serious. So you have this drug that's really effectively not addictive, and it's neuroprotective, and it offers the same pain relief, and there aren't as many downsides. He's like, it's fucking, it's crazy that we're not, why would we not allow this? And people have gotten suspensions, they've lost careers and whatnot, over that! Over that! Over, oh, you smoked marijuana, you failed a drug test. Hey, by the way, at, right after you failed a drug test, you need some opiates to, to heal yourself for the next game? We have this crazy double standard baked into the system. Guys, don't get me wrong. If somebody prefers the opiates and they're a football player and they need them to keep going, I'm not going to stop them from taking it. But why would you stop the person from using marijuana if that's what helps them? And the double standard is crazy. And honestly, in most cases, it's a less dangerous drug too than the opiate. So what are we doing here? And that's the point that he ends up making. What are we doing here? 